Welcome back to our minute-to-minute -minute analysis of Matrix Revolutions. Last time, Neo met Sati and her parents. Seraph and the others found the train man, but he escaped. And now Neo is about to get up close and personal with this mysterious program. What new secrets may we find? Let's find out. Welcome to Matrix Explained. desert of the real. Papa, the train. Yes. Find your bag. Quickly. Can I carry that for you? All right. The train man has arrived. Neo tries to sneak onto the train, but the train man won't let him. Neo tries to be tough, but he has no powers in Mobile F, and so the train man easily overpowers him. You don't get it. I built this place. Down here, I make the rules. Down here, I make the threats. To understand what just happened here, let's recap some important information. Neo is the result of an unbalanced equation. He can modify the matrix as he wishes. Neo is the integral anomaly, but within this world between worlds, he has no powers because Mobile Ave is not part of the matrix. It was built by a program who isn't the architect, the train man. It's like trying to run a Windows program on a Mac. The fact that Neo doesn't have powers in the train station, but does in the Matrix, shows that the architect could be granting him his powers and can suppress them if he wished to do so. The train man is the architect of this place. Previously, we made a video theorizing that maybe the train man was the architect of a beta version of the Matrix. But whatever his origin is, the train man is a creative program. Like Kamala, Sati's mother, Rama and his family have no choice but to get on the train and leave Neo to die in Mobile Ave. Back in the Matrix, Seraph suggests going back to consult with the Oracle. But Trinity has a better idea. Neo tries to escape Mobile Ave by running on the tracks. But... At the valet parking area in an unknown location, Seraph appears. The security is surprised to see him. One of them calls Seraph wingless. The crude nickname was given to Seraph by those he once worked with. In the Paradise Matrix, the Guardians, that is the agents, were Seraphim, angels with wings, and Seraph is believed to be one of them. But after becoming an exile, Seraph lost his wings. Why or how he lost them, we do not know. However, in the Paradise Matrix, Seraph most likely was able to fly. Seraph tells the guard that he needs to see him, but the guards won't let him through without a fight. So be it. Trinity and Morpheus then appear and kill all the guards. They enter the elevator and Morpheus presses the help button. The Oracle once explained to Niobe what happened to Neo and for him to be saved, they would have to go through hell to get him. He touched the source and separated his mind from his body. Now he lies trapped in a place between your world and ours. Can we free him? Trinity can. But she will have to fight her way through hell to do it. Funny how she did not give that same information to Trinity herself. Maybe she had a good reason not to. Now, why are we mentioning this apparently unrelated scene? Well, take a closer look at the elevator help button. The P is scratched off and the elevator goes down. Seraph informs the others what to expect at the bottom of the elevator. At the bottom of this elevator, there is a coat checker. And if we are lucky, one man will check him up in us. And if we're unlucky, there will be many men. The elevator doors open and it's the unlucky scenario. We now have a firefight similar to the one in the original Matrix. Only this time, the enemies are programs with anti-gravity abilities. No surprise, the good guys win. The club that they're in is named Club Hell with one L. It's located at the bottom level of the building. We assume to be the same building where the restaurant de la Vraie is located. A building owned and run by the Merovingian. According to the Matrix Wiki, 
The symbolism behind this nightclub is as follows. The name is drawn from the realm of hell in Norse mythology, where a goddess by the same name ruled over the spirits of those who died ingloriously and those who broke oaths. Similarly, the Merovingian does many dealings with the exiles in the Matrix universe, the programs who broke their oath to report for deletion. Similarly, the club is a representation of the underworld, and the ruler of the underworld in Greek mythology is Hades. The Merovingian parallels with Hades and his club are his underworld, or hell. Fun fact, it is rumored that the Wachowskis frequent a Chicago nightclub that shared similar aesthetics, goth and industrial. It is believed that they took inspiration from this club in the designing of the club scenes in The Matrix and Matrix Revolutions. The Chicago club was called Neo. You can still find pictures of this establishment online. In our previous Minute to Minute video, one of our viewers pointed out the city rail loop sign on the train. This is actually a reference to the Chicago Transit. The Wachowskis did add a lot of elements that were inspired by their hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Back to the club. Club Hell is full of people dressed in dark color latex, S&M style. Seraph and the others are slowly making their way through the club, guns ready. The owner of the club, the Merovingian, notices them. <laughs> I don't believe this. The second mezzanine where the Frenchman is located is surrounded by a symbol of cross in a circle. This symbol is known as the Celtic Cross. The Celtic Cross is a form of Christian cross featuring a nimbus or ring that emerged in Ireland, France, and Great Britain in the early Middle Ages. A type of ringed cross, the Celtic Cross has been used extensively as grave markers. Strained from medieval usage, when the symbol was typically used for a public monument. A version of the Celtic cross was used by the Nazis in Norway in the 1930s and 40s. In the case of the Merovingian, the Celtic cross is more connected to the program's name, which comes from an ancient French dynasty. Seraph and the Merovingian make a deal. We only want to talk. Oh yes, I'm sure you do. You have fought so hell to do so. Curiously, the Merovingian repeats what the Oracle said to Niobe, fight through hell to get to Neo. So either the Oracle knows what the Merovingian will say, or the Frenchman has spies close to the Oracle. Whatever the case is, the result is the same. Trinity, Morpheus, and Seraph are surrounded by exiles, and the Merovingian is in control. Or so he thinks. Next time, the Merovingian's price for Neo. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.